Hello everyone, as you see, peace of Christ to all of you, as you see this is a Muslim propaganda, it's called 5 minute introduction to Islam. From this video we will expose Islam. And I want to say, you know, really Muslims, I don't know if they have a brain or not, but I assume they do, because I believe even the ant does have a brain. Uh, I don't know, I stopped in here, I don't mean it really. As you see, we stopped in the Kaaba and we stopped and we are watching their videos talking about Islam. I will go from the beginning and we will see how Muslims try to present Allah to you. What is Islam? Brief introduction, you know, introduction to non Muslims. And for sure, they will show you pictures. Allah, He loves beauty and He is beautiful. What is Islam? Faith of divine guidance for a humanity based in peace and spirituality and oneness of God. Look how many great things! Amazing! Divine guidance for a humanity based on peace, spirituality and oneness of God. Amazing! I love it. Now, I challenge Muslim to show me any of those in the Quran. I like this uh, line, I have no problem with it. I love it. If your God have those, he is great. The God of Islam believe in a humanity? Isn't it you who say always that the God of Islam, he created you to be a slave for him? Is that what a humanity in Islam is? Slavery? That you are a slave to God? And the enemy of Islam is a slave to you? And all your religion is based by slavery? Is that the meaning of a humanity that you enslave others? Even in the heaven of Islam, Allah he will create special slaves for Muslims for sex. 72 horny women, slaves for sex, those are creation and the 300 boys they will be the kids of the Christian and the Jew they will serve eternity to be the slaves of Muslims in heaven even boys your God Allah did not leave them alone little boys and I love it when they say Islam is be you know based in peace I love this word you know Islam absolutely based in peace come on who can say not Chapter 8 verse 12, remember the Lord inspired the angels with the message, I am you, I am with you, give you feminists to the believers, I will instill terror in the heart of the unbelievers, who the unbelievers, just because they are unbelievers, he will install terror, Osama bin Laden in the Quran, so when we see Osama bin Laden or Azarqawi doing something, this is the peace of Islam, it's Allah himself will install terror, it is his job to be a terrorist. Submit above their neck. Look the teaching of Allah. You know, cut their necks. You know, those unbelievers, just cut their neck. Cut their fingers. Look, he is playing with your fingers even. Allah, he don't, it's not enough to cut your neck. No, he want to play with your body. Look how evil he is. If you see a movie of somebody, you know, killed somebody, even if he's an enemy. Let us say we have a criminal. Criminal. Someone is extremely bad a criminal. He killed many people. Do you agree that we should cut his fingers after we kill him? Playing with him? 
or we kill, cut his fingers even before we kill him, torture him? Do we agree with torturing? And in the video they will say to you, based on peace. Isn't it amazing? And the funny, they say to you, spirituality. In Islam there is a spirituality. Since when? Since when? Every, everything in Islam is not a spiritual. Your reward is sex. Is that spiritual? Is food. Is that spiritual? Is boys. Is that a spiritual? And you know what? I will let a Muslim scholar speak to you. I will make a series of those videos exposing this video, you know, to show you the spirituality of Islam. Follow with me. And in the Jannah they will be given a cup of wine. Not the wine that makes you intoxicated. A cup of wine. Wine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made as a reward for the people of the Jannah. They will be given a cup of wine and mixed in it is the Jabeel. A spring that is flowing in the Jannah is named Salsabila. وَيَطُوفُ عَلَيْهِمْ وِلْدَانٌ مُخَلَّدُونَ إِذَا رَأَيْتَهُمْ حَسِبْتَهُمْ لُؤْلُؤًا مَنْثُورًا And coming around them as they are sitting on their raised thrones will be servant boys who have everlasting youth. And when you see them from far, you would think that they are scattered pearls. Okay. So... Slave boys who they are so pretty and so sexy, 300 of them, this is the spirituality of Islam. 72 horny women at least, by the way, 72 is not the number for every Muslim. No, this is for the bad Muslim. The good Muslim like Osama bin Laden, he will get millions of them, maybe trillions, we don't know. According to Muhammad, the lowest reward is the 7-2, not the highest reward. Heaven of Islam is, in case you don't know, they have seven floors. Each floor is designed for how good you are as a Muslim. The much you kill for Allah, the much you go higher in the degrees of heaven. And your reward will be different. The lowest reward is 72 horny women for sex and the 300 boys. So they speak to us about spirituality in Islam, but we don't find it. Even the Muslims when they pray, they pray a written prayer. Written prayer. You will see a Muslim from Pakistan praying the same prayer as someone he is from Arabia. The Muslim in Pakistan, he do not even understand what the words is saying. He, don't, he cannot read Arabic. He do not know Arabic, but he is saying the same words because it's not spiritual. Spiritual is mean you speak from your heart. How you speak from your heart when you are just repeating a words, everybody repeat it, but you do not know even what it's mean. In a language you don't speak. So even their prayer is not a spiritual, it is just a repeating a prayer. Blah, 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 blah. All of them they say the same words, all of them they move the same move, but none of them he knew even why. And 90%, actually 95% of Muslims don't speak Arabic, but they, they pray in Arabic. Which is very funny. And they say to us, Islam is a spiritual religion. Naked women, horny women, sex. And Muhammad, he said that the man of Islam in heaven, his penis will be longer than a, 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 a palm tree who will hit the cloud. I don't know how far is the cloud, but at least it's going to be two miles or three miles. This is how big is your penis. This is the promise of a spirituality in Islam. You will not see once even Allah is saying to them that you will be praying to me in the heaven. Not even once. You will be having sex. You will be eating food. You will be drinking wine. And 300 slaves for the lowest reward for each one of you. And in the top of that, all your slaves was with you in the earth. They will move with you to the, to the sky. 
Slavery is, is even exist in the heaven of Allah. And they will tell you, this is a religion of spiritual and guidance and humanity. Let us continue.